it seems that for now money is getting through but what's next yeah, I think the important word there, words there are for now. Um, uh, so th this bond payment uh, uh, has gone through $650 million. Um, but there's another deadline coming up at the end of the month. Uh, more bond payments due then. And the big question will be whether uh, those will be allowed to go forward because there's a U.S. Treasury Department exemption um, that allows uh, bondholders to receive payments. Um, that expires on May 25th uh, and then there's a, another pay, or, uh, several more payments due a couple days later. So uh, uh, if the U.S. government doesn't allow those exemptions, then um, Russia will have to figure out some other way to make payments. It's possible um, under the terms of the deal with those bonds um, that they could use um, other currencies. Uh, uh, so there's, th there might be a workaround, uh, but clearly it's going to be a complicated situation in the weeks ahead. The broad exemption when it comes to U.S. sanctions and sovereign payments, is that likely to change and how does that change the level of pressure on Russia? Um, uh, well, it, it, it's, it's unclear whether that's go, what sort of uh, exemptions they will allow going forward. We, we just don't know. Um, uh, uh, there is a, a, a bit of a debate going on about whether it's better to allow Russia to make the payments in dollars that would um, then help to drain their foreign currency reserves or not allow it um, and then uh, potentially force Russia into a default, which would have long-range implications. Um, uh, so uh, it, it's unclear which way the U.S. is going to go on that, so we'll, we'll have to see.